Hey y'all, Coldfire here and welcome to Let's Play Satisfactory. Uh, last episode we just unlocked the tier 3 for the hub, which is the final upgrade for this beauty here, the hub. And with that we unlocked a couple of new features. First of all, and one of the more import most important things we unlock is the biomass burner. We're gonna deploy a few of them so we can have more power, because not sure if you remember, we're having some issues with our biomass burners default from the hub. We're having a shortage of energy. We also unlocked by that the space elevator, which is gonna be our huge next project. Check him out, he's, he's amazing, he's really big and he takes a lot of resources. So we're gonna work on this as well. And we also unlocked the ability to activate milestones tier one and tier two. So this video is gonna cover unlocking the most important features of uh, these both tiers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you like it, subscribe to the channel, and let's play! Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna work on this episode is making sure we will not run out of power, because one big mistake new players do is they start building a lot of uh, factories and smelters and assemblers and they suddenly run out of power. So in order to not happen this, the first thing I'm going to try to unlock here is on tier 2, obstacle cleaning. So I can have a chainsaw, so I can chop off trees and have a lot of wood to make uh, biofuel. So we're gonna go back and run to my uh, facilities up there, my copper facility, and I'm gonna go there to grab some wires that I hope that it's ready by then, because that's the that's the importance of automating stuff. If you the more stuff you automate, the less you need to worry, because you can do something else, and when you're back to your factory, bang, a lot of resources waiting for you. So that's the mindset you want to have on this game. And we're going to launch it to space. And there he goes. Bye. So what happened now? I unlocked the ability to make a chainsaw. So let's make a chainsaw, shall we? Okay, now that I can make my chainsaw, things are gonna get dirty. The only problem is that chainsaw needs fuel. I think I unlocked the fuel yet. I believe. Nope, <laughs> I didn't unlock the fuel yet. So, first of all, I'm gonna have to unlock the fuel before we can use the, the chainsaw. Alright, now we have fuel. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna chop up some trees over here. Don't worry too much about them, they always grow up as long as there's not a, a concrete foundation below them. So they will always grow up again. Okay, now we're starting to have some uh, steady income of fuel. I'm gonna replace this with that, which will make it even more efficient. So the, 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 the main advantage of making biofuel instead of biomass is the same advantage of making uh, biomass instead of burning leaves, because the higher the complexity of the product, the more efficient it is. So for example, to burn one unit of bi biofuel, it takes 15 seconds. And to burn one unit of biomass, it takes only six seconds. So this is how much more efficient biofuel actually is. 
Okay, so now that we have this out of the way, I want to start making my energy plant. For that, I'm going to need a lot of fuel. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to, I'm going to make a fuel factory. So you're going to need three storage containers. I'm going to need three constructors. And I think that's it. If, mm, yeah, it should be enough. So now I need to find a place to put my biofuel factory. I think over there is good enough for now. So first things first, storage container. You're going to need two of those right here. So on this one, I'm going to put wood and on this one, I'm going to put leaves. Just going to make this simple for now because I don't have my splitters and mergers. So just going to make, just going to make biomass from wood for now. And then it's just gonna make here fuel from biomass. We're gonna have a storage container on the end of this factory, somewhere maybe here. To store my fuel. I'm gonna go grab a whole bunch of wood so I don't have to worry about this anytime in the future. Just gonna chop off that big boy over there and I'm gonna go back. Yeah, that's much better. So I got myself a whole bunch of wooden leaves. should be more than enough for a few hours of gameplay for now. I'm gonna save the leaves for now, I'm gonna use them later. I could probably build a buffer between the machines to make them more efficient, but I don't really need this to be too much efficient actually. So that's perfectly fine as it is. As it is. Okay, another very important concept this game have is this computer over here. It's called MAM, Molecular Analysis Machine. You can drop the things you find in the nature to unlock new technologies. So I'm gonna drop those green slugs that I found earlier. And it's gonna allow me to transform those slugs into uh, power shards. Process take a while. I'm gonna be back here later. Okay, another very important thing I need to unlock really soon is this logistics. This tier here of logistics. It's super important for me to unlock as soon as possible. Because then I'm gonna be able to have conveyors, mergers, and splitters. I'm gonna start making a mess over there by putting a lot of biomass burners there. Okay, now that I have enough power, we can connect back our copper factory, just like that. Let's try to finish that milestone 
over there so I can uh, improve the efficiency of my fuel factory. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, now I have logistics unlocked. Now I can use conveyor lifts, conveyor splitters, and conveyor mergers. That is really important because I will be able to do exactly this here. So we're gonna make another constructor here, right next to this one. I'm gonna connect this one here. So bottom one is wood, top one is leaves. I'm gonna connect this to the grid. Here, I'm gonna disassemble this. Let's assemble this, this, and I'm gonna put a merger here, conveyor merger, which is gonna merge those two lines here. This one is making biomass from leaves. This one is making biomass from. This one's making biomass from leaves. This one's making biomass from wood. They all converge here. Quite nice. Into this assembly, this constructor here. Which is gonna be making fuel. So just put my storage container and just configure this one to make biofuel and we're all set connect this to the grid again and there it is biofuel from two different sources so this is the power of conveyor splitters and mergers in this case a conveyor merger leaves coming from the top wood coming from the bottom they all being converted to biomass merging and then fuel So now that we unlocked all the main technology for tier 1 and tier 2, we also uh, have more than enough power to run our factory. We're currently sitting in 140 megawatts of capacity. Our next step is to disassemble all this mass here and make something more efficient. Because right now we are only making 50, uh, 15 iron plates and 15 iron rods per minute, which is way too slow for, for requirements at this moment. So hit the like if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss my future videos. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.